What's up guys, it's Ryan here with the Skrift Fluffles and uh, I'm just going to be doing a short little video um, on how to install and some of the features of uh, Found Diamonds. Also I'll be doing a little bit of um, just showing you what it does in game. So let's get started. Yeah, um, I'll leave a link for uh, bucket.org which is where you're going to get, or I get my plugins if, I, if you have a bucket server. Um, you just go to get plugins from the home page and then you go to the title and you type in found diamonds and then it'll have two links found box which um i i don't use that i use found diamonds um you know it says new found diamonds with frame rates nah, or farm rates it it's not that great i i don't see the need in getting that <coughs> so um if you don't know exactly what found diamonds is, it's basically just tells you uh, when tells everybody on the server uh, when a block is broken, um, or when a di or like diamond or ore like that it's configurable to whatever um, you want to be announced. So, and it also has this feature where it logs whatever a certain pla a person breaks or whatever a certain whenever a certain block is broken, like uh, diamond blocks on your server, it'll have a file log for that. That's turn that you can turn that on and off. I usually have it off because I don't know, I just trust my players that I let on, and also it takes memory, and I I don't really worry about it. But it's really effective if you want to know who's using, uh, if you suspect somebody of using um, uh, x-ray. So here's what you're going to do. You click that, you click that link. Uh, it's going to take you here. Okay, we've got cool information, little video for it. Okay. We're going to go back up. And we're going to click this. One second. I'm running some stuff in the background too, so could cause some lag. Um you're gonna click the link here, which will let you download it immediately. Download the jar file. Um after that's downloaded, you can exit out of this. And to all you to all of you guys that don't know a jar file, that's you just take the jar file, which I'll show you in a second. You can actually out of this too. You just take, you go to um, your start menu. For me, it would be I would go to documents, or I'd go to me or my um, user. And then I would go to um, downloads, and it would be there. Let's see if it'll show up on mine. Going to be a little bit like like I said. Just go to downloads. And so this is old stuff and new stuff. I usually don't clean my thing out, so it's got a lot of old crap in here. Uh, it might be in here. Let me see if it'll give me a good example for you guys. Uh, let's see. All right, well it's not in there. So, but it'll be in there. It'll like uh, this, which this was an old mod I had. It it'll look like this with your little um, uh, Minecraft zip or WinRAR um, symbol and uh, it'll have it'll say dot jar with the name so I actually have it already downloaded but you'll take that jar file from there from right there you'll um, open up your bucket server like so go to plugins double click that you can drag the jar file into here. You start your server up. Um, it should tell you that it's um, unpacking or it, that it's you know running. If there's an error message, then you did something, or you have a uh, uh, outdated version, which I I don't think there is outdated versions right now. Um, and after you have that, after you have started it up, you shut it down, and then you can come into here. Hold on, one second you can come into found diamonds um, go to the I'm gonna right click it because I use notepad plus plus which I recommend definitely getting if you're gonna be doing anything with YML files so I'll give it a second to load as I said I'm sorry for taking a little bit of time but Bandicam does some weird stuff to my computer sometimes one second I'll up I'll start it back up when it's done. Alright, took a few seconds, but it's up. 
and uh, when you open that you'll see all these different um, options that you can change let's see the main the most important ones you'll notice um, let's see this right here gives your players um, like when they break a block it might give them a reward if they break it I have it set up for like you know diamond stuff because I just sounds cool to me if I was a player on there I'd love that um, there's these things called traps where you can set a trap of and underneath of you and that is uh to me it's kind of confusing because I don't really know it, it to me if I set a trap and it's diamond and somebody finds it and breaks it I mean what's bad about that they just found diamond but I, I don't know maybe you can just see who's gonna not listen to you and break it so um let's see time between broadcasts that's important if somebody's breaking a vein and there's like you know five things of or five um blocks of iron and they break the first one it's gonna take it'll broadcast and then 10 seconds later if you're still mining that same thing it'll still send on another message but usually if somebody's mining it takes 10 seconds and they're you know they're done mining that so that's helpful so you don't get spamming you know I said at 10 I don't really I mean I think 15 would probably be better but I'm just gonna leave it at 10 for now because that's just where I want it uh, broadcast for iron you can change what you want broadcasted um, uh, let's see admin alerts not really important you just if you want it to go to everybody don't even worry about that it should be set to def uh, to false as default um, I'm just gonna close this we don't need that now then you can start your server back up you can go ahead and um, close that Meryl. and I'll join you guys when I get in game one second alright I'm back here in the server now got a little test thing set up so um, one thing to note is when somebody breaks coal it does not send out a message to anybody um, I kinda like that I don't know if you guys would so you break it no message it's it's sad no message for you you can break the lapis there's a message oh man um, then you can break the redstone Oh man, laggy lag lag. And then you can break even that. And then one second. As I said, Bandy Camp does some weird stuff to my Minecraft as making my cursor grow slow. But um you can break iron gives you a message. Gold gives you a message, and of course in the name found diamonds, you get a message. So and look at that. Yay, you got diamond chest plate. So that's cool. Um, it's just random rewards you get. So that's basically it, guys. Um, there's not much else to the plugin. It's really effective, like I said. I've, I mean, it's good for uh, stopping um, x rayers. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial. Um, I'll have some links in the description for Bucket. Um, and uh, thanks for watching guys just subscribe if you would like the video leave a comment of a recommended uh, you know plugin that you want me to do a tutorial on and uh, I'll get this uh, stupid random slowness fixed uh, for now that's it guys it's Ryan with the Skrfluffles and um, I'll talk to you guys later